Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันปรารถนาค่ะ Welcome to thaipod101.com's ตัวอักษรไทย made easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet. ตัวอักษรไทย Over the next 25 lessons, you'll learn everything there is about the reading and writing of the Thai language. By the end, you'll be able to read Thai menu items, communicate online, and make your way through Thailand easier. Learning to read and write Thai will also help you to speak Thai better. Are you ready? Then let's go. The Thai alphabet is made up of 44 consonants. That might seem like a lot to you now, but if you just learn a few at a time, you'll see that they're not difficult to master. Thai is read from left to right, just like English. The letters of the Thai alphabet are grouped into three consonant classes: low, middle, and high. In this lesson, we'll learn two low-class consonants. Each Thai consonant has a name made up of two parts. The first part of the name is the sound that the letter makes as the initial sound of a syllable. The last part of the name is some word that contains that letter. These names make it easier to remember the letters. In addition to the consonants, the Thai script has 32 vowels. That sounds like a lot, but most of them are pairs of long and short vowels, so it's not as hard as you think. The Thai vowels have to be written and attached to a consonant. They can appear above, below, in front, behind, or all around a consonant. Thai has five different tones. Tone means how high or low the pitch of a sound is. The five tones are mid, low. Falling, high, and rising, or if we use the sound ga as an example, the five tones are ga 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 ga. If you make the wrong tone, you won't be easily understood. Thai script has four different tone symbols, which helps to indicate different tones in writing, but they don't automatically tell you which tone a syllable is. The consonant class, length of the vowel, and type of ending sound also factor in. If that sounds like a lot to keep track of, don't worry. We'll tackle each tone rule one by one, so you won't feel overwhelmed. Okay, are you ready to learn your first Thai consonant? Let's begin. Let's start with the letter ma ma. Remember how I said each letter has two parts to its name? The first part of ma ma is ma because it makes a sound m, mm, just like the letter m. And ma is a word that means horse. Most Thai letters start with a small circle, which we call the head of the letter. The head of ma ma is written clockwise, and the rest of the letter is written with one continuous line. If you want an easy way to remember the shape of this letter, think of a coffee mug with a broken handle. The head on the top and the loop on the bottom are where the handle used to be attached. This will help you to remember that ma ma has the head and loop on the same side, and of course, ma ma and ma. Both start with the same sound. Now it's time to take out your pencils. We're going to practice writing. Find some paper and follow along. Okay, here we go. Start with the head. Go down and make a loop. Go to the right, and then back up. See how easy that was? Now you're going to learn your second consonant. The next consonant is na nu. It makes a sound m. Mm. Just like the letter N. Do you know what animal Na Nu is named after? Nu means rat in Thai. I bet you're thinking that Na Nu looks very similar to Ma Ma. Well, you're right. The only difference between the shape of these two letters is Na Nu has the loop on the right side instead of the left side. That's why I said you should remember a mark for Ma Ma that has a broken handle on the left side. Na Nu is handwritten like this. The head is drawn clockwise, and the loop is in the lower right corner. Now you know two Thai consonants, but we need to learn some vowels before we can start making words. Remember that the Thai alphabet is entirely consonants. Vowels are a separate group of symbols that orbit around the consonants. The Thai word for vowel is sara. Each vowel's name is made up of the word sara. Plus the sound that the vowel makes. The first vowel that we'll learn is sara. It is written to the right of a consonant. 
but a lot of other vowels will be found in different positions. Vowels can be long or short. In this case, sara a is a long vowel that makes the sound a like the a in father. Sara a is very easy to write. Just draw a slightly curved line and then drop straight down. It looks a little like a cane or walking stick. If you think of the sentence "My father walks with a cane," it will help you remember the shape of sara a. You will never see sara a written just by itself like this. It always has to follow a consonant. Let's use the consonants we learned to demonstrate. Mama followed by sara a is the word ma. This is a verb meaning to come. Let's practice writing it together. Mama, sara a, ma. Now let's try a new word. This time we'll start with no nu. No nu followed by sara a makes na. This is the word for rice field. Let's write it together. No nu, sara a, na. Many Thai consonants have different sounds at the beginning and end of syllables, but these two consonants, ma ma and na nu, don't change their sound. So you can make another word very easily just by adding another na nu to the end of na. Now you have the word nan, which means a long time. Let's write it now. Na nu, sara a, na nu, nan. Wow, you've already learned how to write three words in Thai. See, it's not that hard after all. Now it's time for Prathana's points. Practice writing these letters and words until it becomes second nature. Keep a notebook and write the letters many times while saying their names out loud. That way, the shape of the letter, the sound it makes, and the letter's name will sink deep into your memory. Did you notice that all the words you learned today are pronounced with a mid-tone? It's not just random. There's a rule for it, and in the next Tuaksan Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn your first rule for reading tones in Thai. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ s w a d i k a ดิฉันปรารถนาค่ะ Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's Tuaksan Thai Made Easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet. Tuaksan Thai. In the last lesson, we learned two Thai consonants and one vowel. Do you remember them? In this lesson, you are going to learn three more consonants and your first tone rule. Ready to start? Then let's go. The three consonants that you are going to learn are all low-class consonants. The first one is ng n g u It makes the sound ng, just like the ng at the end of the word sing. This sound is not difficult for English speakers. You just have to get used to making the sound ng at the beginning of words too. Ng ngu is also named after an animal. Can you guess which one? Ngu means snake. You can remember the shape of this letter easily. Just think of a snake with its body bent. Get out your pen and paper and let's practice writing it together. Start with the head, drop down, then veer up at an angle. It's easy, right? The next consonant you'll learn is y o y a k As the initial sound of a syllable, it makes the sound y, just like the letter y in yes. As the final sound of a syllable, it adds the sound e that blends with the vowel, just like the y at the end of the words say and boy. And if you're wondering about the name of y o y a k the word y a k means a giant. y o y a k is distinctive because it's the only Thai letter with two bumps on one side, like this. Let's write y o y a k together. The h a t e goes counterclockwise. We make two bumps and then come back to the top at the right angle. 
Time for our last consonant. This one is called wawan. It makes the sound w, just like the W in water. But when it is the final consonant in a syllable, it blends with the vowel to add a slight o sound. The name of wawan comes from the word wan, which means ring. Let's write wawan together. Start with the hate at the bottom and curl to the left. We've now learned five consonants plus the long vowel sound, sara a, which we can use to make words. Every syllable in Thai has one of five tones mid, low, falling, high, or rising. You can always figure out the tone of a syllable by how it is spelled. The first thing to know is the class of the consonant. All the consonants we've learned so far are low class. The next thing to know is if the syllable ending is live or dead. A live ending is one that makes it possible to keep resonating the sound. Syllables that end in long vowels are live. Do you remember the word for rice field? It was na. This is a live syllable because if I wanted to, I could extend the length of the word and say na. As long as I don't run out of breath, the sound goes on forever. So it is a live ending. The five consonant sounds we've learned are the only ones that can end a syllable and make the ending live. For example, you can keep making the sounds m mm or m mm for as long as you like, but you could not do it with t or sh. So now that we know what a live sound is, we can learn our first tone rule, which is low class initial consonant plus live ending equals Midtone. A midtone is pronounced at a flat pitch in the middle of your regular vocal range. Na is an example of a midtone syllable. Na. Now let's use the tone rule to make some words. Ngongu sara a n o n u makes ngan. Ngan means work. The n sound of n o n u makes it a live syllable, so it is midtone. Ngan. Okay, try to write it. n g o n g u s a r a a n o n u ngan. The next word is y a o which means long. We write y a o with y o y a k s a r a a w a w a n y o y a k is a low class consonant to start the syllable. And w a w a n at the end makes it a live syllable, so it's also midtone. y a o Your turn to write it. y o y a k s a r a a w a w a n y a o The last word is n a i which means boss. We write n a i with n o n u s a r a a Yo y a k Again, it is midtone because it has an initial low class consonant and has a live ending. Okay, one more for you to write. n o n u s a r a a y o y a k n a i Now it's time for Pratana's points. Thai doesn't have a V sound like the letter V in Valentine, so Thai speakers use the letter w a w a n in foreign words that contain the letter V. A lot of newer Thai words are loan words from English, while much of the Thai base vocabulary consists of words that come from Indian languages such as Sanskrit and Pali. Do you know how to say good in Thai? In the next Tuak Son Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn how to say it and how to write it too. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ <laughs> สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันปรารถนาค่ะ Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's ตัวอักษรไทย Made Easy The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet ตัวอักษรไทย In the last lesson, we learned three low-class consonants งงงูยอยักและวอลวน Do you remember how to write them? In this lesson, you are going to learn a few middle-class consonants plus a new vowel.
Ready to start? Then let's go. The first new consonant for this lesson is กไก Gai. Gai means chicken. This letter actually looks a little bit like a chicken's head with its beak pointing to the left. The sound of กไก Gai as the initial consonant of a syllable is g. It is very similar to a hard G or an unaspirated K. Do you remember the live syllable endings from the last lesson? Well, กไก Gai makes a dead syllable ending instead. We can call the ending sound made by กไก Gai a K stop because all you do is stop the sound by closing off the passage of air at the back of your throat. It is like trying to say a k sound but without letting any air come out of your mouth. กไก Gai is one of only two Thai consonants that doesn't have a head. To write it, just start on the lower left, go up, and make a sharp hook, then come down on the right side. Another middle class consonant is ดอเด็กเด็ก means child. As the initial consonant of a syllable, ดอเด็ก makes the sound d, just like the letter d in diamond. ดอเด็ก also makes a dead sound when it's the final consonant. We can call the sound a T stop because you stop the sound by closing off the air in your mouth by touching your tongue near your teeth. It is like you're trying to make a T sound without releasing any air. You can remember the shape of ดอเด็ก by thinking that the bottom is pointed like a diamond. We write ดอเด็ก with a clockwise head in the center. The line continues to make a point, and the line bends around to the right side. The third consonant you'll learn today is บ่ใบไม้ใบไม้ means leaf. As the initial consonant of a syllable, บ่ใบไม้ makes a sound b like the b in bucket. You can also think about the shape of บ่ใบไม้ as a bucket, which might help you remember its sound. We can call its ending sound p stop because we shut off the flow of air by closing our lips. Try making a p sound without opening your lips. That's what the syllable ending sound of บ่ใบไม้ is like. บ่ใบไม้ is very easy to write. It's just like มอมา or นอหนู without a loop at the bottom. Start with a clockwise head. And then add three straight lines. That's it. Congratulations! You now know all of the final consonant sounds in Thai. I know what you're thinking. Don't we have a lot more letters to learn? We do, but all of the remaining consonants share one of the final sounds that you've already learned. So no more new complicated final sounds. Do you remember the first tone rule we learned? It was low class initial consonant plus life ending. Equals mid tone. One example was the word nan. The next tone rule is very similar, so it will be easy to remember. It is middle class initial consonant plus life ending equals mid tone. Let's try using the middle class consonants we learned to make some words with this rule. But first, I want to show you one new vowel. This is s a e. It is a long vowel that makes the sound e. Like the double e in green, s a e is written above a consonant. For example, here's the word d, which means good. We write the consonant d o d e first, and then put s a e on top. D is mid tone because it has a middle class consonant with a long vowel, which gives a life ending. When writing s a e, you should start on the right side and draw a line to the left. Then make a curved line above that goes back to the right. Then a short vertical line. Now let's write another word. Start with กอไก Gai and add สระอา Together that makes กา which means crow. กา also has a middle class consonant with a long vowel, so that's mid tone. Now you try to write it. กอไก Gai. สระอา Gah. Here's one more word. Can you read it? It's ban, which means to bloom. Ban is also mid tone. Why? Well, it has an initial middle class consonant and a life ending. Let's write ban together. บ่ใบไม้สระอานอหนู
บาน Now it's time for Prathana's points. Practice recognizing Thai consonants and vowels by reading through the vocabulary list and conversation transcripts on ThaiPod101.com. You won't recognize every letter just yet, but it's great practice for the ones you do know, and you can start to get familiar with the shapes of the rest. Do you know the Thai word for washing clothes? You'll learn how to read it while adding a new tone in the next t u a k s o n Thai Made Easy lesson. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello, I'm Pratana. Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's Easy English Made Easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet. Thai Made Easy. 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 Thai Do you recognize the name of this letter? Chang means elephant. This is a low-class consonant. As the initial sound of a syllable, it makes a sh sound. When it's the final sound of a syllable, Cha Chang makes a t stop, just like d o d i k This means any syllable that ends in Cha Chang will be a dead syllable. Cha Chang may take some practice to write well, so let's try together. Start with a clockwise h, then add a small curve. And line going down, similar to a question mark. Then the line goes to the right and back up. When it gets to the top, you add a little tail that sticks out to the upper right. The other letter that we're going to learn looks very similar to c h a Chang. This is another low-class consonant. It's called s o s o The word s o means chain. s o s o makes an s sound like the s in sun when it's the initial sound of a syllable. And when it's the final sound of a syllable, it also makes a t stop, which is a dead sound. Can you spot the difference between these two letters? That's right. s a s o just has a small indentation at the top. Let's practice writing s a s o Follow along with your pen and paper. We've previously learned two long vowels. Do you remember them? They were sara a and sara e. Now we're going to learn the short versions of these vowels. This is sara a. It makes the sound a, which is similar to the a in hat. Sara a is written as two small curls after a consonant. For example, we can write no nu and sara a to make na, which is a particle used at the end of many sentences. Okay, your turn to write it. Sara a. One more word with this vowel and a trick to watch out for. How do you think you would write the word man, which means it? Did you guess something like this? Actually, s a r a a is only written this way when it comes at the end of a syllable. When this vowel comes in the middle of a syllable, like in man, we need to write s a r a a differently. In that case, we draw just one curl above and between the initial and final consonants. We have a special name for this symbol. It's called m y h a n a g a t Let's practice writing man. m o m a m y h a n a g a t n o n u man. The other short vowel is s a r a i It makes the sound e like the y in happy. s a r a i goes above a consonant, just like the long vowel s a r a i The only difference is s a r a i doesn't have a vertical line. Okay, now you write it, s a r a i Now that we know some short vowels, we can add a new tone rule. This rule will be about syllables with dead endings. A dead syllable occurs when it ends with a short vowel or one of the stopping sounds of k, t, and p. So the tone rule for this lesson is low-class initial consonant plus date ending with a short vowel equals high tone. The same pattern with a long vowel is different, so be careful. One example that we already had was na, 
It has an initial low class consonant and it has a dead syllable consisting of a short vowel. So it is high tone. Na. High tone starts at a high pitch and rises very slightly. Na. How about the word nit, which means tiny? It is also high tone because it has an initial low class consonant, has a date ending, and the vowel is short. Now you write it. No no. Sarai. Do dek. Nit. We learned two new consonants in this lesson. Let's do a quick quiz to see if you can tell them apart. Here are two words. One says chat, which means clearly. The other says sak, which means to wash clothes. Can you tell which is which? Sak is the one on the top and chat is on the bottom. Did you get them right? Now it's time for Prathana's points. Say the name of each consonant, vowel, and other symbols as you practice writing words in Thai. If you get used to doing this, it will help to understand the answer whenever you ask somebody how a word is spelled. In the next Tuaksan Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn how to write a very important Thai word. See you there. Sawadika. Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's The Works on Thai Made Easy. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet, The Works on Thai. In the last lesson, you learned the letters Cho Chang and So So plus a pair of short vowels. Do you remember how to write them all? In this lesson, you're going to learn a pair of consonants, a pair of vowels, and a new tone rule. Ready to start? Then let's go! The two new consonants for this lesson are both low-class consonants. Can you list the other low-class consonants that we learned? They are mò má, nò nù, ngò ngù, yò yak, wò wèn, chò chàng, and sò sò. The first new consonant for this lesson is pò pàn. The word pàn means a type of brown tray that is used for making offerings. The sound of pò pàn as the initial consonant of a syllable is like the P in panda. You should feel air coming out of your mouth when you make this sound. As a final consonant, Popan makes a date sound as a P stop by closing your lips. Popan looks much like the letter W or an upside down letter M. Grab your pen and let's practice writing it together. Down, up, down, up. Popan. See, it's easy. The next letter looks almost the same. This is for fun. Fun is the Thai word for tooth. And as you can see, the only difference is that for fun has the last line sticking out higher than the rest of the letter. The sound of for fun as an initial consonant of a syllable is f, like the F in family. But as a final consonant, for fun also makes a date P stop sound. Let's write it together. Start with the H, go down. Up, down, up, and extend the last line higher. You know that fun means tooth, and you already know all the letters to write it. But do you know what tone fun is? That's right, it's mid-tone, because it has a low-class consonant with a live ending. Start with for fun. Add my hand a card above, then no nu. Fun. Okay, now let's learn a new pair of vowels. Sara u and Sara u. They both make the sound u like the o's in boot. The difference is Sara u is short and Sara u is long. Let's practice writing these two new vowels together. Sara u. Sara u. These two vowels are written under a consonant, like in the word do, to watch. This word has a mid-tone. Do dek. Sarau. Do. Here's the word chut, which means a set or outfit. Sarau is just a little circle with a line coming down. What's the tone of chut? 
It's a low class consonant with a date syllable and a short vowel that makes it high tone. Okay, now you write it. Start with Chao Chang, then Sada U, and Da Dek. Chut. You've done a lot of writing today. Now let's move on to a new tone rule. Low class initial consonant plus dead syllable with a long vowel equals falling tone. Do you know how to say very in Thai? It's the word mark, and it is said with a falling tone because of this rule. A falling tone begins with a relatively high pitch that drops sharply. Listen carefully. Mark. Let's see how to write this word. Mama. Sara. Gokai. Mark. So, Mama is a low class consonant. Gokai makes the ending date, and Sara is a long vowel. According to the tone rule you just learned, it's a falling tone. Let's try one more word. Put is the verb to speak. Here again, we have low class with a date ending and a long vowel. So, put is also falling tone. Okay, one last word to write for this lesson. Popan, Sarau, Dodek, Put. Now it's time for Pratana's points. Flashcards are a great way to practice reading. You can make a set of cards using all the words you've learned so far. Put just the Thai script on one side and have the reading and meaning written on the other. Make sure to include the tones too, so that you get used to reading the tone based on the spelling of the word. Thai has more vowel sounds than English, and in the next Duop Son Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn how to write a Thai vowel that the English alphabet just can't do justice to. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ <laughs> สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันปรารถนาค่ะ Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's ตัวอักษร Thai Made Easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet. ตัวอักษร Thai. In the last lesson, you learned the letters พอพาน and ฟอฟัน plus a pair of vowels. Do you remember how to write them all? In this lesson, you're going to learn about another low-class consonant and a pair of vowels that we don't have in English. Ready to start? So let's go. The new letter for this lesson is k a k w a i The word k w a i means water buffalo, and you're sure to come across many of them in Thailand. k a k w a i makes the sound k when it's the initial consonant in a syllable. It sounds like the letter k in kite or the c in cup. As a final consonant. k a k w a i makes a k stop, a dead sound. This is the same sound that g o k a i makes as a final consonant. Okay, start with a h e a d in the middle, draw a line going down, then arch over the top and back down on the right. Fairly simple, right? Don't confuse k a k w a i with d o d e k Can you see the difference between these two letters? It all starts with the direction of the head. k a k w a i has a h e a d written counterclockwise, but d o d e k Has a head written clockwise. Because of this, the line that points downwards for each letter is drawn at different angles. d a d e k has a wider angle at the bottom because the line comes down from the opposite side of the head. Do you remember all the vowels that we already learned? We can put them into pairs of short and long vowels with similar sounds. A, a, i, i, u, u. Now let's take a look at one more pair. They are sara u and sara u. These vowel sounds don't exist in English, so it may take some practice for you to get them right. The sound u is a little bit like the sound that you get when you try to make the u sound with the corners of your mouth spread wide apart. Both of these vowels are written above a consonant. To write sara u, you start by making the shape of sara i, then you add a tiny clockwise circle. For sara u, you start by writing it like the vowel sara i. Then you add an extra vertical line to the left of the first one. Now that you know how to write sara u and sara u, we can use them to write many new words. Here's the word 
นึก which means to consider we have นอหนู then สระอึ above the consonant and finally กอกไก่ can you guess the tone of this word well what's the rule นึก has an initial low class consonant and a final stop that makes it a dead syllable plus a short vowel that makes it a high tone นึกนอหนูสระอึกอกไก่นึกนึก had a high tone but do you remember the rule for low class consonants with date endings and long vowels they have a falling tone one example is the word p u d which means vegetation remember that ชอช้างมักจะ same t stop sound as a final consonant just like the letter ดอเด็ก okay your turn พอพานสระอือชอช้างพืช Now let's try a word using the letter k a l k w a i that we learned in this lesson. k u n means to return. k u n is midtone because it has a low class consonant and a live ending. k a l k w a i สระอือนอหนูคืน When สระอือ is not followed by a consonant, we need to write it differently. We'll use the word มือ to demonstrate this. This word means hand, and we write it using มอม้า then สระอือ above it. Then to the right, we draw another letter called อออาง You'll learn more about อออาง in another lesson. For now, all you need to remember is that if สระอือ has no consonant following it. Then we need to write o a n g instead. This is a midtone word because it's a low-class initial consonant and has a live syllable ending. m o m a s a r a u o a n g m u Now it's time for Pratana's points. Many modern typefaces used in advertisements and magazines don't include the heads of the letters. The first time you see them, they might be hard to read, and you may be confused by similar-looking letters. But remember that the shape of many letters is influenced by the direction of the head, clockwise or counterclockwise. For example, the difference in the shapes of k a l k w a i and d o d e k Even when the head is no longer shown, it still gives each letter a certain shape. That's how we know which is which. Have you ever heard the Thai word t a p In the next Duak Son Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn what it means and most importantly, how to write it. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ s w a d i k a ดิฉันปรารถนาค่ะ Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's Duak Son Thai Made Easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet. Duak Son Thai. In the last lesson, you learned the letter k a l k w a i and the vowels s a r a u and s a r a u Do you remember how to write them all? In this lesson, you're going to learn about two low-class consonants and a pair of vowels. The first low-class consonant of this lesson is t o t a h a n The word t a h a n means soldier. The sound of t o t a h a n when it's an initial letter is t, like the t in the word. Top. There should be a puff of air coming out of your mouth when you make this sound. When it's the final consonant in a syllable, t o t a h a n makes a T stop just like d o d e k t o t a h a n looks like the shape of a hill, so you can remember t o t a h a n by thinking of a soldier standing on top of a hill. Let's write t o t a h a n together. Start with the head, then draw a line going down. Now make an arch going to the right. t o t a h a n The second low-class consonant of this lesson is h o n o k u k Do you know which animal it's named after? h n o k u k is Thai for owl. Maybe you didn't know that we have owls in Thailand too. h o n o k u k makes a h sound just like the H in hoot. This letter is only used as an initial sound in a syllable, never as a final sound. Maybe you can remember h o n o k u k 
because it looks a little like the shape of an owl's eye. And owls make the sound hoot hoot, which starts with an H. Let's practice writing Honoku together. Start with the head, curl around to the top, and add a loop. Honoku. Now let's learn some new vowels. First, we have Sara E. This is a long vowel that makes the sound E like the AY in gray. Remember that some vowels are written above, below, in front, or behind a consonant. Sara E is one that is written in front of a consonant. This might seem strange at first, but with a little practice, you'll get used to reading it like this. Here's the word heng, which means to be fortunate. Do you know the tone? Heng has a low class consonant with a life syllable ending, so it's mid tone. Sara e, honoku, ngongu, heng. Here's another word. Can you read it? It's tep. Tep means an angel. Tep is a falling tone. Now let's write it. Sara e, tothahan, pophan, tep. Remember that most vowels come in long and short pairs. The shorter version of sara e is sara e. It makes the sound e like the e in the word red. Sara e can be written two different ways depending on whether or not there is a consonant following it. The basic way is to write sara e followed by a consonant and then sara a. For example, this is the word fe, which means rotten. Sara e fan. Sara a. Fe. When there is a consonant following sara e, we have to write it differently. Instead of writing sara a after the consonant, we'll write a different symbol above the consonant. This little symbol is called mai tai ku. It has the same shape as the number 8 in Thai. You write it as a squiggly line that starts with a head on the right hand side. Here's the word check which has the same meaning as the English noun, check. Above cho chang, we'll write mai tai khu. Sara e, cho chang, mai tai khu, kho khoai, check. Now it's time for Prathana's points. As you can see from this lesson, Thai is not read in a straight line from left to right. You always need to look around the consonants to see which ones have vowels attached to them. There is usually no space between words in Thai, so you have to get used to looking for groups of consonants and vowels that make syllables. When you can spot the syllables, it's much easier to tell where one word stops and the next word starts. Do you know the Thai word for cat? In the next Tuakson Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn how to write it. See you there! สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีค่ะค่ะ Welcome to ThaiPod101.com's Tuakson Thai Made Easy The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Thai alphabet Tuakson Thai In the last lesson, you learned the letters Tothahan and Honoku and the vowels Sarae and Sarae Do you remember how to write them all? In this lesson, you're going to learn about two low-class consonants and a pair of vowels the first new letter is ra rua. The word rua means boat. The sound of ra rua as an initial consonant is r, like the double r in burrito when spoken by a native Spanish speaker. In other words, this is an r sound with a trill. Not everyone can make this sound easily, but you can get better with practice. When ra rua is the final consonant in a syllable, it makes the sound m just like nanu. You might remember that this is one of the life ending sounds. Let's practice writing ra rua together. Start with the head at the bottom, curve up to the left, and hook back to the right. Ra rua. 
The next letter is also another low-class consonant. It's called Lo Ling. Do you know which animal Ling is? It's a monkey. The sound of Lo Ling as an initial consonant is L, like the L in little. When it's the final consonant in a syllable, Lo Ling also makes an M sound, just like Ro Rue did. What's great about this consonant is it actually looks like a monkey. So when you write Lo Ling, think of a little monkey with a curved tail sticking up. Let's write Lo Ling together. Start with the H, a small curve to the right, and a larger curve to the left. Lo Ling. Take a look at this word written using Lo Ling. This is actually a word from English. Can you recognize it? It's the word bill, but we read it in Thai as bin. Thai doesn't naturally have the L sound at the end of a syllable, so it changes to sound like the letter N. Bò bay mai, sara i, lo ling, bin. Now, let's quickly review the vowel pair that we learned in the last lesson. They were sara e and sara e. We can see that they are the same except for the sara a written at the end to indicate a short vowel. Most of the remaining vowel pairs that we'll be learning follow the same pattern. The long and short versions will look the same except for sara a added to the end of the short vowel. The two new vowels in this lesson are sara e and sara e. They are written with a double sara e before the consonant. Then for the short vowel, sara a is added after the consonant. The sound of sara e and sara e is like the a in cat. Let's write this. Sara e. Sara e. One very common word that is written using sara e is le, which means an. Le is a high tone because it has an initial low class consonant with a short vowel and a date stop. A word using the long vowel sara e is rang, which means power. Rang has a low class consonant and a life ending, so it is pronounced mid tone. Let's write both of these words. Sara e, lo ling, sara a, le, and sara e, ro rue, and ngo ngu, rang. One last word for this lesson. Can you read it? The first thing written on the left is sara e, but we need to look. To the right of that to find the initial consonant. In this word, the initial consonant is mò ma. The vowel sound e gets attached to it, so then we have mè. Finally, the letter wò wèn comes at the end. It makes a w or o sound that blends with the vowel to give us the word mèo. If you think mèo sounds like the noise a cat makes, that's because mèo means cat in Thai. Let's write cat. Sara e. Mò ma. Wò wèn. Mèo. Now it's time for Prathana's points. Many modern Thai fonts used in print media alter the shapes of some letters, often to mimic the shape of an English letter. If you're trying to read something in Thai and you see what looks like the letter S, it is actually the letter Ro Rue. Ro Rue might also look a little like the letter S in people's handwriting because it's faster to write it that way. Do you know the Thai word for year? In the next Tuakson Thai Made Easy lesson, you'll learn how to say it and most of all, how to write it. See you there. สวัสดีค่ะ.